What's going on? It's your boy Thoreau Alexander, aka the Grand Architect. And today I'm at the Bob Bear Trailhead. It should be a waterfall here. Also, another thing to note about this hike is that from April 1st to October 1st, a permit is required to hike this trail. So you cannot park in the parking lot or do this hike or do this trail without a permit between April 1st to October 1st. Outside of that, you do not need a permit. So this is the first sign I encountered before the hike even starts. There's a lot of these signs within the first mile of the trail. Pause the video and read it. There are two ways you can go. You can go straight. Or you can divert to the right. Which is what we're gonna do. The trail comes back out. Here as you can see we would have had to go around. This is the first main viewpoint you'll come across on the trail. I believe this is some type of parking area for rescue or service vehicles. And this is the view right here. It's pretty, pretty nice. has started to get steep and rocky so as you're hiking this trail you also want to watch where you're stepping because I've encountered some fresh horse poop on this trail so apparently this is also one of those Arizona trails that you can use horses. We are still going down. This pretty interesting tree. So, if you like camping, this is the first campground on the trail. You're gonna see this. Here it is on the map. area I'm pressed for time so I won't be able to explore the camping area but that is where the camping area is we are supposed to be coming up on a viewpoint here it is on the map So at this point, I am beyond the halfway point. I am probably about 65% into the trail. And I am still going down. So 
So we are coming up on the third mile marker right here. Keep in mind, I have been going down the entire time so far. Gonna see a sign. It says fossil spring trails, mail trail. Obviously, we're not gonna check the mail, uh, so we're going to continue following the trail. Probably bills anyway. So we are essentially walking through a dried up creek bed this time. a trail marker it's letting us know we're going the right way it's interesting is so far I have not seen any signs of water so there's a current here just letting us know that we are going the right way the landscape right here folks this area is known as the fossil creek crossing here it is on the map huh Some sacred pools huh that's nice I gotta take a Picture here, folks. What do you guys think? There's more water down here. <laughs> nice rock to sit at. Right there. So at this point, you can see the sign. Damn spring. We're gonna go towards the spring. So at this point, the trail is gonna start looking leafy. Sign. It's our first real water sighting. Here it is on the map. And ladies and gentlemen, this is what a spring is. As you can see, the water is literally coming up from the ground. What's crazy about this spring is this spring is the cause of the, the actual waterfall that we're gonna see later. This spring creates this river and it also creates the water that's by the water cave that we're gonna see later. So you have to cross this creek. This is where I would do it at. So we came from that way. We have made it through. We're going that way. This is another cool viewpoint.
see the sign here. You can pause it to read that. So we have cleared the brush this time. And we are here. See all the stuff. It says trail to dam. Boom trail goes that way. This is what we came to see. Here it is on the map. It falls right here, folks. Don't worry, I'm gonna get us a closer view of the waterfall. However, a little bit further down the trail, there is a sea cave and I would like to check that out first. I know it doesn't look like it, but the water right here is pretty deep. That's the only reason I did not go inside the actual cave. It's your boy Thorough Alexander signing out from the Bob Bear Trail. Yeah.